Hi everybody, welcome back to our RPI Youth Service YouTube channel or IGTV. I cannot believe tomorrow is already Thanksgiving. Do you have any favorite dish for Thanksgiving? Um, I don't know, mine is green bean casserole. How about you, Miss Nancy? What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Oh, I like sweet potato casserole. That's one of my absolute favorites. Ooh, sweet potato sounds good too. Oh, I do. And don't forget pie. Oh, I think <laughs> yes, I think. So today, in, uh, in celebration of Thanksgiving, we're going to make a turkey fluffy slime. So this is basically is a jar and then you can decorate it with um, googly eyes. And I put uh, origami paper to put a beak on. And then I put pipe cleaner as a feather in the back. So this is, this is metallic um, pipe cleaner, but you don't have to use metallic. You can use that like brown color if you like any kind of color basically. Okay, so we're going to put our slime in here so it should be pretty fun, okay? So what you need for your, this project is you need um, a screw like so, and then you need a borax. So basically you have to uh, so dissolve borax into hot water. So for one tablespoon of borax, you need one cup of hot water. So in here, I have two cups of borax. I mean, two tablespoons of borax with two cups of water. And then of course, shaving cream. This is we got for Target brand. It's really cheap and then it smells like summertime because this is left over from the summer. And we need contact solution. This is also from Target. And then I have a food coloring. I have a brown one, but if you don't want to put food coloring, it's up to you. But if you wanna put any other kind of color, you can do it too, okay? And then don't forget, we also need um, water, all right. So, and then if you have a measuring cup like so, I use one fourth measuring cup and then one tablespoon of measuring uh, spoon and then one cup of the measuring cup as well. All right, so then what you wanna do is, I already measure one fourth of glue in here. This is Elmer's glue. And then what you wanna do is you put water. It's one eighth of um, water in here. Uh, I will put the recipe on the description down below so you don't have to worry if you uh, want to write it down or you want to try it at home it should be pretty fun so you pour the water in here and then you mix it up until it's mixed really well see you see there's some water in there so you have to mix it until you don't see any more water anymore mix 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 we're always doing it in our summer slime saturday i mean for all of you who ever visit the library it should be pretty fun. And it's pretty easy too. You don't need a lot of stuff in here. I miss okay. Slime Saturday. Me too. <laughs> oh, um, I really miss it. <laughs> so it should be liquidy like so. See, you don't see any more water. It's just a uh, white liquid. Okay, so this is the fun part. Okay, and then you add, this is one cup of shaving cream. So basically you shave, shake it in and then put the shaving cream in there. So. So, ooh, it smells so good. Mm. That's the best smell. Okay, like so, and then you mix it really well. It sounds, looks like a whipping cream, but but please don't eat it, okay? I know it smells really good, but please don't eat it at home. Okay, so it looks something like this. Okay, okay, this is the time when you add before, so food coloring will be the last. So this is the time you want to add a saline solution or a contact solution. So you grab these one tablespoon of saline solution. So you put it in there, just be careful. If you need help from your parents or you're from older siblings, you can you may do so. Okay, so one tablespoon of saline solution, and you put it in there, and then you mix, mix, mix again. So it's starting to become a little bit solid now. It's not as liquidy as the first time. See. Look how fun that was. That is. 
Okay, see it's starting to look like slime. And then you add a half teaspoon or to one teaspoon of borax. You just have to play with it and see uh, how it goes. I add one, a half teaspoon first and see how it goes. Oh, I think I need a little bit more in there. So grab another one of half teaspoon and put it in there and mix it really well. Ooh, you form a slime already. It's so fluffy too, you can touch it too. Okay, and then I prefer to use a brown food coloring. As I said, if you don't want to, it's up, totally up to you. But this is just my, my preference. So my turkey will be brown. So a little bit goes a long way. So I just put two, uh, food co two drops of food coloring. If you don't want to, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter actually. So you mix it really well. Form already, and then you knead it with your hands. Ooh, look at that! Oh, that looks so slimy. Oh, Doesn't it though? That's awesome. Get a little bit of food coloring in there because some is dropping in there. Okay, and then you start kneading with your hand. You start playing with it. I mean, if it's too sticky, and then you add a little bit more. Um, contact solution if you prefer. If you like the way it is, the consistency, then it should be fine. So, so keep kneading it or mixing it until you don't see any more whites. You see there's some of it still white, so you keep kneading it with your hands. Like so. Smells good and then it's really easy to make, so I guess it will be perfect Thanksgiving project. If you're at home, you cannot go anywhere, it's perfect to do it with your family. Okay, so once you're done with your slime, like that. So see if it's not sticking on your hands anymore. So it's perfect. And then this is coming handy. And then you put it in your container like so. Like so. So there you go, there you have it. Um, this is your Thanksgiving fluffy slime. I hope you try it at home. If it's too hard for you, just let us know what is the obstacle in the comment below and then I'll try to answer it. Okay, I hope all of you happy Thanksgiving and until next time, I will see you next week. Bye now.